Hi guys, how are you today afternoon? Good afternoon. Today we shall talk about the divine and demonic nature that is prevalent in the society among the living entities. But before going further, let me request you all to kindly listen to my analysis of these divine and demonic natures, form your own opinions and comments, kindly give me your own opinions and comments, let us join my analysis with your opinion and comments and let us bring out something that will be mutually beneficial to all of us. Now, divine and demonic natures. As mentioned before, the society is full of three modes of material nature, namely goodness, passion, and ignorance. According to the Bhagavad Gita, Lord says that every living entity has all these three modes of material nature and it depends on the individual living entity to choose which one of them he would be live he would live by. Now According to Bhagavad Gita, the one who transcends the goodness mode becomes divine and the one who is below the ignorance mode becomes demonic. Now we will analyze each divine and demonic nature in detail. When a person has a divine nature, he has, he or she has all the positive qualities that are necessary for one to be a good person in the society. This person is calm, intelligent, wise, knowledgeable, seeker of knowledge, God-fearing, God-loving, worshipful, and he has all the plus points like pleasant of present speech and present activities and pleasing personality, etc., which make this person a divine person. Hence, this person becomes something like a monk, a sannyasi, a sage, a devotee, a demigod, or a godly person, a person who can be called a sincere and lovable God-man. On the other hand, a person with a demonic personality is evil, criminally minded, sadistic, arrogant, avaricious, selfish, haughty, and he has all the negative qualities that are our society and something that makes people either hate this person or to avoid him or her. According to the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord does not try to improve the qualities of a demonic person. Actually, he does not interfere with the nature of the individual living entities. However, when a demonic person shows how devilish he is, God continuously hurts this man into the womb of other demonic persons birth 
after birth after birth so that in the end this same living person becomes a hellish devil whereas a divine person is allowed to improve his own psyche gradually step by step and slowly he is encouraged he or she is encouraged to seek self realization we all should try that is why to come out of ignorance and passion and come up to the goodness more so that we can slowly step by step improve ourselves and ascend to the divine attributes and the divine qualities and nature in life thank you